Wow, Saturday evening, and we're here, it's moving time, contractor work, there's a lot of work to be done here in this house, the floors need to be changed, carpet out, you can see a lot of boxes, lots and lots of work to be done in here, but first things first, before you hire a contractor to work at your house, the first thing you ask them, are you licensed and bonded? Because a lot of these people going around doing remodeling for your homes, they don't have any licenses, they're not bonded in any way. You give them your money, they run away, you don't even know anything about them. If they are licensed and bonded, it means they have insurance. If anything goes wrong in your house, then you can call the insurance company and the insurance company can pay you. So the first question you ask them, are you licensed and bonded? If they are licensed and bonded, can I have a copy of that license or the insurance? Number two, I need you to give me three references of the people you have worked for before who can testify to the quality of your work. Three, three references. If they say they do not have a reference, ask them, do you have reviews? Have any of your past customers reviewed your job? Either on Anna's list or any other list. Do you have any reviews? Very important. Number three, do not pay them in bulk. What I mean is, pay them just for their level and then you buy the materials. You can go with them to the store and buy the materials, but pay them just for their labor. Number four, never pay them all of their money. No. Pay them installmentally as they're completing the job you're paying them. That way you're sure that they will stay there to complete the job. Because when you pay them up front, they will take your money and use it for another job. So these are some due diligence before you hire a contractor to work for you. You do these four things, you will never regret it. C2C Mentors. Boom! <laughs>